Thank you. A new era in air service takes off hours from now for Mobile's revamped downtown airport terminal. Two airlines are launching service this week from Brooklyn Field. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey is live there tonight. Amira Cruz were busy working today. They were, Kim. In fact, they were so busy, we weren't able to go in today because I was told that just a lot was going on late in, the, late in the day. But you can see what it looks like right now out here, much different than what it looked like the uh, last time we were out here about two weeks ago. When we got here, crews were just scattered across here, uh, just painting and landscaping, doing some of those last minute touches. Hours before its big reveal, crews are busy working all around Mobile's downtown airport terminal. The airport said the flurry of activity was just too much for us to show you inside today. Well, we're just crossing T's and dotting I's, but we expect to be ready to go by noon tomorrow. Frontier's first flight to Chicago takes off at 2 tomorrow. Mobile Airport Authority President Chris Curry says at last check of 186 seats, 100 were booked. This will be the exit lane. Uh, for passengers arriving. This will be the TSA checkpoint. Two weeks ago, we did a walkthrough of the airport. Curry said construction was ahead of schedule. He says it took a lot of man hours. It took us six months to build this terminal. This was a tremendous uh, task to get a terminal ready in such a short period of time. Frontier Airlines will offer five nonstop flights a week, two to Chicago and three to Denver. Thursday, Via Air will start flights to Orlando four times a week. Curry says the downtown location will not only give a modern spin to traveling, it will enhance Mobile's chances to draw in more air service. We're now five minutes from downtown. We're much closer to the eastern shore and other well-populated areas, and the location of the airport is easily accessible. And the first two weeks of parking is also free for flyers. Greg, Kim. Miro, you mentioned there are still seats available for tomorrow's inaugural flight. Now, how much are they? They are, Kim. Well, according to Frontier's website, it looks like they're starting at about $31, and that's for uh, a one-way flight to Chicago. And then for Denver, it looks like it starts at about $45. Kim. Not a bad deal at all. All right, Muriel, thank you so much. Now, for now, flights will continue out of Mobile Regional Airport in West Mobile. But the long-term plan is to eventually move all passenger service to Brooklyn and general aviation out west. That roll switch for the airports could take three to five years, but it officially gets underway tomorrow.